hey you guys welcome back to our channel today i'm going to show you guys how to make these shrimp and steak fall packs don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it this was so quick and easy and yummy so now i start off with some potatoes here i have about one bag um this gave me about five packs but the packs were really big so now I'll just dice up these potatoes like so not too big not too small remember you want it to get it to fit inside of the foil pack um, so I would say if it's a big potato, cut it into like four slices or so, um, you know, however, however you want to do it really and truly. Now I boil up some hot water and I'm just boiling my potatoes for about 10 minutes or so. I want them to be soft on the outside but not cooked all the way through yet because they still have to go in the oven now i'm cutting up my cajun sausage hair um i get this sausage from publix it's literally my favorite uh i'm gonna see if i can find the name of it and i'm gonna add it in the description below but um it comes in a black and red package in publix um it's, it should say cajun and duty sausage i don't know if i said that right but yeah um, so now I'm just slicing them up like diagonally, I think that's how you say it, diagonally. <laughs> and just making sure that none of them are stick together like so. And I just add that into a bowl. Um, the most important part of these seafood packs is literally just having yourself organized, chopping up and prepping up everything that you need and putting it into bowls on the side will really save you a lot of time. That way you don't have to keep on going backwards. So I make sure that I have all of my meats chopped up, um, everything that I need, my corn, garlic, all of that, and I just put it into those little clear bowls. This is my ribeye steak. I wanted to use ribeye. I feel like it's a really juicy cut, um, so it'll do well in the oven for me personally, but if you like any other cut, you can use that as well. Um, the only thing I would recommend now, looking back on it, I would have seared this honestly because it's gonna take a little longer to cook in the oven so if you're like one of those people that want your steaks well done i would recommend searing it off uh in a pan first and then letting it rest for about five to ten minutes and then cut it up like what i'm doing here um and you just want to cut these into like small bite-sized pieces you know not anything too big once again because we are going to be putting these inside of the foil packs um you can cut off the fatty pieces if you would like honestly but i left them on because that's my sister's favorite part and she was here tonight so yeah now I'm just going to continue chopping up like those pieces like I said. You want to get them into little squares. Nothing too big, nothing too small because remember they are going to shrink once they start to cook. So you just want them to be a decent size. I want to say like bite size, you know. And this is what they looked like once everything was done. And I just took these chunks right here and placed it into a bowl. Now my potatoes were finished, the 10 minutes were up. I just put those into a strainer to strain out all the extra water that was in there. And I let those sit until they drained out. Um, I could put, I was just like you put it in a bowl or something um, so that you don't get your counter wet, like I said. And these are how they looked right here. Now I'm gonna be taking my shrimp. I just drained out the water out of these. I cleaned them up, took out the vein and all of that. These are colossal shrimps from Walmart. And after I was finished with my shrimp, I put them in a the bowl. Now I'm taking my corn. I use regular frozen corn from um, the freezer section, the green giant corn. That's my favorite. And I just cut those in half. Now for my seasonings. I'm doing about two teaspoons of each seasoning, a little extra on the garlic and onion powder. I want to say probably like, I want to say like three, three teaspoons I want to say on those. But for your seasonings, always just taste everything, you know. Um, it's better if you taste it because you're going to, you know, you're going to know more or less than me telling you on a video, you know. You know how you want your stuff to taste, but I went in with some Cajun two-step seasoning as well. Now I'm going to use some Old Bay, like I said, about two teaspoons of each of those. And then I'm going to go in with some onion powder, three teaspoons of that. 
you know these don't have any salt in it i'm not using garlic salt or onion salt i don't know if that exists but um so you can use however many um now for my brown sugar i put in about two teaspoons i love to put brown sugar inside of seafood boils and i use about half a teaspoon of dry parsley i melted about three sticks of butter and now I just, uh, I grated, I grinded up some garlic inside of my food processor and I'm just adding that fresh garlic to the butter. You can use the already minced garlic, but I feel like it has a weird taste to me. So I just do my own garlic. Now I'm just mixing that in to make sure that I get all of like those lumps out, you know, and get it all smooth into the butter. I'm going to add in my seasonings. I also added... Um, two teaspoons of paprika as well. I forgot to show you guys that part. And now I'm just mixing it until everything's combined. You want to get all of those chunks like what's in the corner out there. Um, you want to get all of those mixed up really well. So take your time during this part. Um, you can, If you have like a smaller whisk, you can use that as well just to make sure that everything is mixed up. Or you can use a fork as well. It's all up to you. So just take your time and mix that up. Um, I was adding in the rest of my seasoning here. I didn't want to add in everything all at once because then it was just going to be chunky and too much. It was a small bowl. I should have used a bigger bowl, but I didn't have any available at the time. Now I'm just making sure that everything is mixed in. All the garlic is coated with that seasoning. And I wanted to add in a little bit more garlic because I love garlic in seafood. But it's up to you how much you want to add. If, if you're not really a fan of garlic that much, I would say only add about like half, half a teaspoon, I want to say. But it's all up to you. Like I said, at this point, I would put a little bit of the butter inside of the spoon, you know, just to taste it, just to make sure that it has salt inside of it. And if it doesn't have, um, you can always add some more Old Bay. Just keep in mind, it might get a little bit spicier. So now I'm putting down my foil. I cut about two long pieces of foil. Not excessively long, but not too short. And now I'm just laying those. I lay one horizontally and one vertically. And the great part about these seafood packs is that you can make it your own. So you can add however many potatoes you want. I was listening to my boyfriend here. He was telling me how much he wanted and i was adjusting my camera really quick he said he wanted some more so i added in some more and next up i'm gonna go ahead and add in that corn i did about three and remember guys these seafood packs were huge literally so if you don't eat that much honestly one of these could have fed like two people and now i'm adding in my sausage there next up i'm gonna go in with my steak and I don't honestly, I don't even know why I was trying to like organize this so much because I totally forgot that I had to mix it up with the seasoning. So honestly, all of this placement here, that part, that piece of fat was like irritating me. So I took it off. <laughs> so honestly, all of this placement here is just unnecessary. Just throw everything in here. Um, if you guys have on like nails, I would suggest like putting this in a bowl, honestly, and mixing it up now i'm just resting on my shrimp he wanted about six shrimp he said and like i said these were the colossal shrimps from walmart and now i just placed everything on i'm taking my butter seasoning mixture and um you guys can see like most of the garlic and seasonings went to the bottom so i try to use more of that than anything so i use about two to three teaspoons of that making sure that i'm mostly picking up garlic i add in like a little bit but a little bit um of butter just to keep everything moist but not an excessive amount because all of this stuff like the shrimp and stuff it's gonna make water if that makes sense because the the four packs are gonna steam it up so everything is gonna make its own water so you don't want to have an excessive amount of water inside of your packs now i just take my hands and I mix it up. This is why I was saying like if you have on nails, I would suggest putting it in a bowl because my the corners of my nails actually nicked the foil a little bit. So there was a hole to the bottom. So I had to double it up again. So I would suggest mixing it in a bowl. Now I'm just going to, after I wash my hands, I'm just going to take the foil. I take the one that was placed vertically and I wrap it up, make sure that I squeeze it tight. 
and next i'm gonna take the one that was horizontal and i'm just gonna wrap that up really really tight this is really important because you don't want none of that steam to get out of the foil pack so you want to make sure like there's no openings anywhere it's gonna look like that i'm gonna show you guys like the side and everything if you need some more foil you can always use more you know i would suggest like cutting like a longer piece and putting it underneath to wrap up this is what everything looked like after it was done and now i'm just placing in that in the oven i had 400 degrees for about 30 minutes after the 30 minutes i opened it up brushed it with some paprika butter and then i put it back in on broil for 10 minutes just to get some color and this is what everything looked like at the end this was so good, so quick and so easy. Now to put it on the plate, I literally just keep it in the foil pack. You can put it on a plate if you want to, but I just keep it in the foil pack and I just open it up really nice, you know, to make it look good, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, I boiled um, a couple eggs because we love to have egg with our seafood. So I just boiled up some egg right there, just chuck that in the corner. I brushed it with a little bit of sauce. And now this is some leftover Alfredo sauce. Yes, I said Alfredo. Don't knock it until you try it. It was so good on top. And my <laughs> my bottle kept like it kept having like the little the little poopy parts, you know. <laughs> and now just just allow on really nice. I added some parsley on top just for a little razzle dazzle. And there you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We have more recipes coming. And I hope you guys enjoy this. It's so quick and easy and so yummy. Bye.